Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would talk to you about my acting inspirations and the people that inspire me to do what I do when I get up on stage or in front of a camera. The first person who I think of when I think of people who inspire me as an actress um, is someone who I actually really didn't used to like that much um, simply because I got compared to them quite a lot at school I, when I did drama at school I was also quite gothy and a bit quirky and weird and I suppose in some ways I've maintained my quirkiness but the comparisons don't seem to happen that much anymore. I have grown to be a massive massive fan of hers and what she does and that's Helena Bonham Carter. I think she's just found her niche and she's ran with it. I know some people do think she's a bit of a one trick pony but I think that you know if you're happy doing what you do and you found a niche market and like you know what you're good at then go for it. It's, yeah, I think she's amazing. I think she she always makes you feel something when you watch her. When she played Bellatrix in the Harry Potter series, I hated her. Like, I really hated her. And you're supposed to hate Bellatrix. She, she, she always nails it for me and she always brings something a little bit different to perhaps how other actors would take on a role so I really admire that about her. My next inspiration she's um I suppose if it was the Oscar ceremony you could class her as best newcomer. For me I watched a film with this lady in um last year. I was just blown away by her. I mean she was in it as a supporting cast member she wasn't in it as like the lead focus of the film she just stole it for me and i and she she won awards for the role and i can totally see why because she was absolutely incredible and that is alicia vikander um the film i'm talking about is the danish girl if you haven't seen it watch it obviously mr eddie redmayne is fantastic and i'm a huge huge fan of his but alicia vikander just absolutely nailed it and she's not in it as much as you'd think she would be in it but she just scene after scene after scene she just nails it and yeah I'm, I'm in love with her and I'm really excited to see her in the new Tomb Raider and see what else she comes up with but yeah big big inspiration for me I think she's fantastic. The next person is somebody who in my eyes can absolutely do no wrong she's had a flipping long ass career and she's just insanely talented. Anybody who knows me will know that I'm a massive massive fan of hers and I, I do want to be this woman when I'm more mature and that is Jessica Lang. She's just an unstoppable force. I properly fell in love with her um, at the end of season one of American Horror Story. She does this incredible monologue and I've actually used it for an audition and I did get the part. She can make the most simple of lines just carry so much meaning and so much weight she can she can do so much but say so little and i think that's a really mesmerizing quality to have as an actor i think um another person who does that really well is millie bobby brown who plays 11 in stranger things the girl barely speaks for the whole show like the whole series and she's just got this yeah she's gonna go far i mean i'm 26 but i am so inspired by her jessica lang is a big one for me i think she there's a reason her career has lasted as long as it has another one of my acting inspirations has to be the absolute legend that is melissa mccarthy i cannot rave about this woman enough i think she is absolutely hysterical in everything that she does and I think she's done a lot for women in film, especially women in comedy. It tends to be more of a male dominated genre, but I think she's done a heck of a lot for, for women in that field. And also women of a certain size as well. A lot of the industry in film tends to be dominated by very skinny or very slim, athletically built women of a certain age. Now, I'm not discrediting what these women do. I think they're all incredible in their own right, but I think as a curvier girl myself, I think Melissa McCarthy has paved the way for women to be curvy and women to be of different shapes and different sizes and be sexy at any size. I think one of the things that that really struck me was when she did Spy, there's a scene where she has this like kind of mini transformation and she comes out in this black kind of ball gown thing and she looks absolutely stunning. And it's not a funny moment of the film either. It takes itself completely seriously. And I think that's really important because I think there tends to be a lot of like 
fat girl transformations in films or, or the fat girls, the, the funny character or do you know what I mean? I think there's so much emphasis on fat girls becoming pretty or fatter girls or curvy girls becoming more than just fat and I don't think she she plays up to that card. I think she she knows that she's curvy and she owns it no matter what size she is. I know she's lost a lot of weight recently, but I think she was owning it before she, she lost weight and I, I think she's owning it now. I think she's one of the most standout women in Hollywood at the moment. And yeah, long, long may she reign. <laughs> you might have noticed all of these people that I'm speaking about are women. I do have a lot of, of male inspirations as well, but I think as a as a woman, you've got to look to people who can play the same kind of roles that you that you can and that you aspire to be. Like, sure, I'd love to play some of the roles that Johnny Depp would play but they'd be completely different like a woman playing them they'd be written in a different way they wouldn't be the same character so my list of inspirations i'm talking to you about today are all women and that's why the next person i'm a big fan of this lady just in life she's been through her fair amount of crap in her life but i think she carries herself now with such grace and such poise. I think she's seen the bad side of Hollywood and seen what it can do to people and then come out the other side stronger. I think she's one hell of an actress. I think she's incredibly funny. I think she's really smart and she's actually started producing and directing as well um, in the last like 10 years or so and that is Drew Barrymore. She's an ultimate, ultimate girl crush of mine. I think she's stunning. I love her. When she directed Whip It, I started Roller Derby. I started playing Roller Derby because of that film. I know a lot of my friends that play Roller Derby did as well. Obviously she did the child star thing, then she went off the rails a little bit but I think now she's become a woman in Hollywood in her own right. I think she's incredibly good at multitasking the different jobs within the industry and I I love film so I've been lucky enough to have like a few different experiences on film sets where I've not necessarily just been an actor, I've been a makeup artist, I've been an assistant director. I've done other things and I think for somebody who likes to occasionally play a bit of a chameleon in the film industry, I think she's one hell of a person to aspire to. I think she's absolutely cracking. So she is definitely one of my, my women in film that I look up to. Um, Honourable mentions then go to Charlize Theron just because she is stunning. She does the whole beautiful thing like of course she does the beautiful thing well but I think she brings she can do the whole androgynous strong like thing like really well like she did in Mad Max. Sarah Michelle Gellar. I owe a lot of my acting life <laughs> and a lot of my teenage years to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I know she's not so big on the acting front anymore but yeah I spent a lot of my childhood wanting to be Buffy the Vampire Slayer and somehow along the way I think that she's inspired me to, to act so woohoo! And finally I think this last person that is on my honourable mentions list is a bit of a Marmite kind of person. I think people either love her or they hate her and I'm not quite sure why because personally I think she's just incredible. Emma Watson and the reason I say that is because she's of a very very similar age to myself and she's done the whole like child star thing and grown through like her fame into being a young woman and I think you can talk about like the Paris Hilton's, the Lindsay Lohan's, etc, etc of all these stars that have been child stars and then gone off the rails and gone absolutely mental. For somebody who's grown up in the spotlight and not had a meltdown and handled it with such grace and not just been an actor but also the humanitarian work that she does and the, the voice that she has for, for feminist rights is at such a young age to have all of that weight on your shoulders and been in the public eye since you were what 10 or 11? Eleven is insane. I think she's really someone that young women and women of her age, myself included, should look up to and aspire to be like. I, I think she's she's really grown as an actress um, and I think I've learned a lot from her just watching her grow. Um, and watching her performances grow over the years. So that concludes my acting inspirations vlog. If any of you are fellow actors out there, please, please let me know who your acting inspirations are. Just comment in the box below. I'd love to hear from you. Although I've, I've listed a lot of people there and I've listed them for various different reasons, there are a lot of other people that inspire me and not just women, like I said, men as well. There are a lot of 
different things you can pull on as an actor. I think you've just got to try and expose yourself to as many different actors, as many different films, genres, etc., as you possibly can. And just try and learn a lot. I think one thing I used to say to myself when I was a bit younger and more naive was, oh, I could do that role better than so-and-so. No, they're in it for a reason. So just look at their performance and you can always learn something from somebody else you can always learn things that you can take away don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my content comment in the box i'd love to hear from you guys like i said and i will see you all very soon